Welcome to today's session. In today's session, we will be talking about JSF Composite Components. Now, this Composite Component is also called as Custom Components. Now, suppose you need to create a website uh, with a login panel, for example, username and password. For example, a website with uh, username and password. Okay, and you want to repeat the same login components many times in several pages. So you need not create the same component again and again in all the web pages. Instead, you create only once and reuse it in several web pages. This is a concept of composite components. So mainly composite components are used for reusable components. Now you create a group of components, you can define their functionality, you can define the validators, you can define the converters and listeners, everything, you can pack it as one composite components and declare it only once. And the same structure, when you need it for another web page, you can just reuse the same composite components. So mainly it is used for reusable components. Now let's see how to create uh, such a composite components and reuse it. Let me show you an example. Now let me open a new project. Let me call it as composite components. Comp components. Now we need to follow some important steps if you want to create a composite components. The first and foremost thing we need to do is we need to create a resource folder. Inside the resource folder, we need to create a subfolder. In the subfolder, we have to place all the composite components. Now here our project is created. Now I'm going to delete this uh, HTML page. Now I'm going to click this web page folder right click i'm going to create a new folder the name of the folder should be resources definitely it has to be with the same name resources okay now inside this folder we are going to create a subfolder i'm going to call this folder name as template okay now inside the template folder i can create the composite components so maybe I will create one composite components for login. Suppose I want to do some calculations. Okay, uh, suppose I'm creating a loan calculator and I want to include that loan calculator in several web pages. Then in every web pages, I will not be creating the same calculator again and again. Instead, I will create it once and I will reuse it. So what are the components you want to reuse? Those components, you can put it inside this template folder. So now I'll create a new JSF page and I will call this page as a login component. Okay, now here I'm going to create the uh, composite component. The first step I have to do is I have to include the library and the library is okay, uh, XML namespace. And the prefix we are going to use is composite, okay, equal to, here it will be the same as uh, this one, JSF slash composite. So I'll just copy from the previous tag, slash composite, okay, so this is the tag for composite library. So once this is done, now we are going to define the uh, composite components. Now, there are some tags available in the composite components. The first tag we have to use as a composite interface. This is to declare what are the attributes we are going to use. Okay, so this, is, this is the uh, uh, like configuring the composite components. So this is the first tag that we have to use. Now inside this composite interface tag, we have to define the attributes. Now in the example uh, web page which I showed you, we had username and password. We had only two. Uh, we had only two uh, text boxes. So we'll be declaring two attributes. Okay, and in the implementation part, we will just create how exactly I want the 
uh, login components to be displayed. I'll just create uh, exactly uh, how it has to appear. Okay, so once I declare this composite components, now wherever I require uh, the same type of login components, I'll just implement this common, I will just call this uh, composite components. So these are the three most used tags for the composite components. So let's go and uh, declare it. Now here in the body part, the first tag I will be using is composite interface. Okay composite interface now inside the composite interface i have to declare the composite attributes so in this example we are going to create only um, uh, we are going to create only uh, two text boxes one for the username another one will be the um, uh, password okay so here in the attribute the first attribute will be username okay the second attribute I'm going to create will be the second attribute I'll be creating will be password. Okay. These are the two attributes I'm going to create. Now here you can include all the validators. Suppose you want to uh, tell required is equal to true. Uh, here you have any validators like uh, you can also include the validators here. Okay, so just I declare the two attributes. Now in the implementation part, I have to, in the implementation, I have to create how exactly I want it to appear. So in implementation, let me create a hedge form. Okay, now I want a panel grid. I want a border. Now inside the panel grid, let me create the user interface components. The first component will be uh, the output label. Value equal to username the second one will be my text box input text now in the value column i have to link with my attribute because here i will be specifying all the validators right so here i have to link with this attribute so for that i have to use the expression language okay here i have to use since it is a composite component i have to use cc dot attributes dot when you click dot automatically all the attributes would appear here so you have to map this one with the first attribute username okay so this is my uh, input box similarly i have to create for password okay so here i'll have password now here instead of input text we will have input secret for the password okay and this will be mapped to the second attribute so i'll map it with password okay then after the grid panel i will create a command button Just I'll create a command button. Okay, so just I will save it. Now in all the new web pages. Now I'll create a new web page. New web page. Let me call the web pages index. Okay, now in my new web page, I want the login component. So if you want the login component, you need not create again. Just you have to import the composite component to import we have to use the library so as i told you composite component is like a custom component so you have to import import the custom uh, component okay so for that you have to use a custom tag here so i will just use xml namespace and give any uh, prefix 
for your custom component. So let me call it as CO equal to here you have to give the path of your library. So the path of your library here is JSF slash you have to write composite and write the name of the folder where you have created the composite component. Okay template now in this template folder you may have more than one composite components so which composite component you want uh, in the body we need the login component so we have to write core dot which one you have to use you want login component so maybe you will have more than one okay so just you have to import it okay automatically the component will be attached in the body so you need not recreate it now let's run this project and check whether we uh, get the desired output so here you can see in your page you have this component yes we just declared in the composite component and we just use that composite component in the page suppose you have one more page let me show you uh, suppose you create one more page new JSF page you create a page called as welcome. So in the welcome page also, you want the same login components. Okay, you will not recreate it. Instead, you will just include the library. Okay, so just we will include the library. I give any prefix name, any prefix name you can give. JSF slash composite slash specify the name of the folder where you declare the composite components okay so we uh, use uh, sorry jsf slash uh, yeah jsf slash um, composite slash template Okay, just include the library and then in the body, just you can use the template name, co slash login component. Okay, now suppose along with that you want to include some other components also. Then you can include uh, some other components like uh, suppose you want to create, a, um, okay, you want to create a command, another command button value equal to reset okay you want to create another okay just save it now let's let me run the welcome page you can see here Okay, so we have not uh, given inside the form tag. We did not uh, give inside the form tag. That's why we get error here. Okay. So you can add extra. So you are reusing the component. Just declared once and you are reusing it. And you can just add any other extra component you want to add to your page. You also can add it. So this is the use of composite component. So the main use of composite component is reusability. So hope you uh, understood the session. If there is any doubt, you can ask in the comment session. Let's meet in another topic. Thank you.